Hello and welcome to another Brand Genesis video. In this Brand Genesis video, we are going to be talking about the zero corporate tax in Tanzania, how you can get it, especially we're mainly we're going to talk about the special economic zones in Tanzania, which are, which are under the EPZA or the Export Processing Zone Authority. So let's get started with the video. Before we start the video, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is us, Brand Genesis Agency. Who are we? Brand Genesis Agency can help you get started with business in the East African area. If you want to start a business in Rwanda, Burundi, Malawi, Mozambique, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, then we can help you with business registration, we can help you with getting business licenses, recruiting top talent, and so many other things like market research. If you want to do market research before you start your business in the East African region, we can help you. So let's continue with the video. So EPZA, Tanzania Special Economic Zone, is an in initiative by the government to attract investors who want to use the strategic positioning of Tanzania as a, as a manufacturing hub. Tanzania is placed in a very, very nice, I can, I can say advantageous position. If, you, if you, are, you are targeting, let's say, the market of Africa and you want to have a manufacturing hub, let's say you want to also export to other countries, then Tanzania is actually a very strategic place to put your manufacturing industry. Also, if you just want to have a place, if you have a business and you want to have a place where you can manufacture your goods for cheap, then Tanzania is one of those places. So this AEPZA, what the government has, has done, has designated a pl places whereby if you establish your manufacturing industry in those places, you essentially become um, eligible for a 0% corporate tax for the first 10 years and so many other goodies like EPZA is well placed to offer a wide range of investor support services under one roof in the one-stop service center. The center facilitates investors in obtaining factory space or serviced land in or outside the existing industrial-slash-commercial parks. Company registration process or administrative procedures in getting tax incentives and in obtaining visas and work permits. Also assists investors in logistics for clearing and forwarding of merchandise at the ports, provision of useful contacts of key public and private organizations. The following are the tax incentives. Remission of customs duty, the value added tax and any other tax charge on raw materials and goods of capital nature. Exemption from payment of corporate tax for an initial period of 10 years and thereafter a corporate tax shall be charged at the rate specified in the Income Tax Act. Exemption from payment of withholding tax on rent, dividends and interest for the first 10 years. Exemption from payment of all taxes and levies imposed by the local government authorities for products produced in the export processing zones for a period of 10 years. Exemption from pre-shipment or destination inspection requirements. On-site customs inspection of goods in the export processing zones. Provision of business visa at the point of entry to key technical, management and training staff for a maximum of two months. Entitlement to an initial automatic immigrant quota of up to five persons during the startup period. Unconditional transferability through any authorized dealer bank in freely convertible currency of net profits or dividends attributable to the investment. Payments in respect of loan servicing where a foreign loan has been obtained. Royalties, fees and charges in respect of any technology transfer agreement. The remittance of proceeds a net of all taxes and other obligations in the event of sale or liquidation of the business enterprises or any interest attributable to the investment. Payments of emoluments and other benefits to foreign personnel employed in Tanzania in connection with the business enterprise. Among the companies that have already taken advantage of EPZA, it includes Walmart, JCPenney, um, Levi and so many other companies that are listed here below. These companies are producing different kinds of goods 
in Tanzania for export purposes. So do you have any more questions about EPZA? This was just a summary video about EPZA and the Tanzanian Special Economic Zones. If you have more questions, please put them in the comment section and I will try to make a video and answer. So you've come at the end of the video. You can click here to watch another video. You can subscribe to become part of our family. And if you want to start a business in the East African region, then you can contact us. We are here to help you. See you in the next video.